Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 23rd of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather pretty wet tonight and tomorrow. Maybe a few severe storms tomorrow for the southern two-thirds of the state. And then the weather trends drier for Friday and the weekend ahead. Let's talk about it. Here's the upper air look. The ghost of beta, the remnant circulation. The trough is just west of the state. And for most of Alabama, it's cloudy, although the sky is partially sunny for some of the eastern and southeastern counties. And the rain is relatively widespread for northwest Alabama this afternoon. That was the radar composite at 226. The rain area gradually expands to the south and east tonight. Temperatures only in the upper 60s where rain is falling at Haleyville, but we've got 80 in Tuscaloosa, 79 for Birmingham and Anniston. Highs tomorrow should be in the 70s. We have a flash flood watch in effect for areas west of the state. And just in, as I'm starting to do this update, we have a new flash flood watch for the counties served by the National Weather Service in Huntsville, the Tennessee Valley plus Cullman County. Uh, that's where rain amounts could exceed two inches between now and late tomorrow night. Here's the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. We have the standard slight risk over the southwestern corner of Mississippi in the adjacent part of Louisiana. And then tomorrow, we've got a low-end marginal risk for parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. In Alabama, that risk is basically south of a line from near Fayette to about Aniana and Lafayette. The air is in darker green there, and we'll talk more about this threat here in just a second as we go through modeling. And then day three, which is Friday, no severe weather expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Really big numbers back in the Pacific Northwest. And for Alabama, the heavier totals over the northwestern part of the state uh, amounts there could exceed two and a half inches. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, one to two inches and lighter amounts on down to the south. And we do note on the day two excessive rain outlook, there is a, a slight risk, the standard risk of some flooding across the state. And again, we do have that new flash flood watch for the Tennessee Valley. And look at here, the tropics have gone quiet as a mouse. Uh, Beta is dissipated inland, and Teddy is now post-tropical up in the Canadian Maritimes. So let's go through modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. You can see the trough coming through, and down below that, a broad surface low is over northwest Alabama. So uh, rain is likely for a decent part of the day. Heaviest rain probably over the northwestern part of the state, and some thunder could be involved where the air becomes unstable. So this is the surface-based instability at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and the unstable air reaches as far north as Tuscaloosa and Birmingham, the better instability values over the southern half of the state. And this is the storm relative helicity. And again, the higher values up in northeast Alabama, but there might be a little sweet spot where you've got enough instability and helicity for a tornado threat, a low-end tornado threat. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter, and that sweet spot would seem to be somewhere maybe around Chilton, Coosa, Autauga counties. That's where the values are higher. But the bottom line is for the southern two-thirds of the state, south of Interstate 20, there could be a few brief isolated tornadoes tomorrow afternoon and also a few storms with strong gusty winds. North of Interstate 20, severe weather not expected, just a lot of rain. Now, this is Friday. The models continue to trend drier. According to the GFS, the sky becomes partially sunny. The weather warms up. We'll see low 80s, and any showers should be few and far between. And we'll trend that way in the forecast. And really the same thing on Saturday. This is a dry look. At this point, Saturday now looks to be a warm, dry day. Highs in the mid-80s. The sky partly to mostly sunny. We might carry a small chance of a shower, but it looks like... This day will be mostly dry. That is a great improvement compared to what we saw a few days ago. And then Sunday, moisture comes back. This is suggesting there could be a few afternoon showers in scattered spots. Not a rainy type day. Still warm, still humid. Highs in the middle 80s. Monday, again mid 80s, partially sunny. Maybe a few widely scattered showers. And then a week from today, Tuesday the 29th, Big, deep trough developing over the east and a cold front pushing in here. And that might squeeze out a few showers, probably nothing too heavy or widespread. And after that, we'll see cool, dry air for the latter half of next week. We'll go out 10 days, Saturday, October 3rd. 
a big trough on the eastern seaboard, and again, a very cool, refreshing air mass in place. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble, the mean about an inch and a half for the next 15 days. Temperatures, we go back in the 80s for the weekend and early next week, but then the numbers come way down by Thursday of next week. The high dropping to about 70, the low dropping to about 50 for Birmingham. So many places in North Alabama should be in the 40s by Thursday and Friday morning of next week. And looky here, the CPC outlook just in. This is for October 1st through October 7th. The very cool look for the eastern half of the country. Temperatures here would be way below average if this verifies, and we think it will. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.